Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, the world away. We now got the next four issues, that's 15, 16, 17 and 18 of the fan home release of Build the Fast and Furious Dodge Charger. Now if you remember in the last stage, we were actually starting to do the engine and in the next four stages, we're going to be continuing that. That's what the engine is looking like at the moment. Now if you want to get this for yourself, what I'm going to do, put down the link to the Fan Home website and you'll be able to get this all the way from pack one. Now this is going to take me up to stage 18. I believe in total, I think there's 100 issues in this one or 100 stages. Uh, I'm not quite sure how many uh, deliveries that is over. But uh, once again, if you want to get hold of that yourself, put the link down here, you could join me building this. But without further ado, let's get cracking. <laughs> So we're going to start with stage 15 and we're going to be assembling the engine block 3. Uh, we've got, looks like a, an air filter there, some more parts for the engine, lots of little fiddly details to be honest with you. We also need the supercharger that we worked on in the very first pack. Uh, and we are going to be detaching this top section here from the bottom section because it's this bottom section that we're going to need. Uh, so when we've actually finished stage 15, it's going to look just like that. So as you can see, look, there's all the parts of the engine. That chrome looks blinging. <laughs> okay, what we need to do first is we need to align the inlet manifold here just on top of this section like this. So this is just going to fit on top like that. It is going to be screwed into place by four screws and they're AP screws. Now in this pack, it looks like there's nothing but AP screws. There's quite a few of them, but we're going to be putting four of them in here just to hold that into place. Now, you're going into plastic, so again, you don't need to put oil on these. Just be conscious though, when you do put these in, that you don't do them too tight. Just hand tight will be ample. Otherwise, you do risk rounding the screws in the holes. Now, all of these parts that you see me putting in here are plastic, so you want to bear that in mind. That's number three. And one more here will be number four. There you go. That looks like that. Now we've got another piece to put on the inlet manifold. It looks just like this. And that's just going to go over the top of this section here, following the shape that we've got there. So that's just going to go in like that. Once again, <laughs> we've got to put another four AP screws in here just to keep that into place. So that's one. Two, turn it around and do the other side. Number three, and finally, in that hole there, number four. Lots of AP screws in this stage. Now, with this completed section looking just like that, we're going to bring over the engine. And with these points here, pointed towards the back of the engine, we're actually going to mount these just over the lugs here. And push that all the way down, just like that, on top of the engine. I'm going to hold that in with CM screws. Tell you what, that's an awful lot of chrome there. We've got lots and lots of chrome. So four screws here to hold this in. One there. I'll put one at the other side here. Now these are going into metal. Um, I haven't put oil on these because they're going in really easy. I only tend to use the oil on the metal parts if I am anticipating a problem putting these in. These are going in absolutely fine. And here's the last one here. Now just for a second we can put that to one side because we're going to continue building the supercharger here which is these two sections here and here looking like that and all we're going to do is just put this over the top so this side faces out we're going to secure this in with some ap screws once again i've got a complete pool of these <laughs> so i'm never going to run out of the ap screws that's the first one this one here is the second one just in like that we're then going to take this whole section bring the engine back across again 
and it's going to be going this way round. So this is facing the gearbox end. It's going to sit on top of the engine just like this. There is some lugs that can align it just here. So I'm just lining them up. Like that. And that's going to be held in once again with AP screws. And they're held in at the four corners here. So one that side, one over this side, this top corner, and then finally, we've just got one on the bottom here. All in. Once again, we can put that to one side because we need to bring over this side here, which was the base of what we attached the supercharger to. Make sure you take that off because this is the section that we need. And this is going to go in this way over the top to make this one complete unit there. Now we're going to hold that in place with two AP screws and they're going down the front. This is a monster of an engine. So, uh, it's so tall. No wonder the top of it comes out the vehicle. That's one. And here's the second one. There we go. That's in place, no problems at all. Again, put it to one side because now we're going to be working on the fuel injectors. Just getting all of those parts out here. Quite a lot of parts, these are. Now, the shortest end of each one of these, which are these tiny ends here, I'm just turning them around so I can see, are going to have one of these injectors pushed into it. So I'll get all of these out and give you an idea of how that looks. So they've just got a hole at the bottom, we're just going to push them on. So make sure they're all the way on there so they look like that. I'm going to do that with every single one of them. And there we go, that's every single one of these with an injector on the end. So then we're going to take the air scoop, turn it over like that, and we're going to start putting these small injectors into place. So we're going to start with the smaller ones first. And the first one's going to go into the top corner of this section here. And then into the side of the air scoop here. So we put the uh, injector just into the side. We won't need to glue these, we can just push them in so they look like that. Then we're going to take one of the large ones here. That's going to go into the hole next to it on this side. And then that's going to go into the far side of the scoop. Now this one's actually going to go in the hole underneath the one that we've just put in there. So when we put this one in, it's going to go into that hole there. So that looks like that in the holes and that on the side. Now we want to take one of the extra small ones that's going to go into the first hole here and it's going to connect to the top right corner on this side. So that should look like that. And then we just take one of the medium size ones here and that's going to go into the third one along and then into the bottom hole here. So when they're all in they should be very uniform and look just like that need to do exactly the same thing on the other side and that is all there is to do in that stage now in stage 16 we're going to be assembling the engine block part 4 lots of wires in here it looks like we're doing the HT leads and the distributor as you can see there uh, and we're going to be attaching that all on the engine so this could be a little bit fiddly so this is everything that we've got in this stage. I'm going to put that to one side because the first thing we need is the distributor cap looking like this and we have got loads and loads of plugs which are going to go into the top of it. So I'll get these off the sprue. Now all of these are going to be pushed into the top of the distributor cap. If I put one in just to show you what they look like, they're going to look like that. We put them in that way around. We've got to do that for all of them. So get all of these in and when they're all in they should look like that we're then going to attach this cap to the body of the distributor that's just going to go on the top like this 
and then that's going to be attached to this section of the water pump here now there's a little square hole just at the top so we're going to line that up this way round so it's actually facing away from this side here and that's going to be held in with an AP screw no need to uh, open any here because I've still got loads left over from the last stage put that in here and screw that in nice and tight just put that to one side because we need to open these washers now or actually they're calling them bushings because we need to put these on the fan belt pulley that's what this is here so these are going to go on this side here so one is facing this way and the other one is facing that way so it gives some channels down there like that we want to keep all of that together so we're actually going to be putting that just onto this block here like that and it's going to be held in on the other side once again with our old favorite the ap screw just hold these complete and tighten that up again we can put that to one side because we're going to need the front of the engine block and that's just going to go onto this section here now it goes this way round, just over the top there. Fits quite perfectly on there actually. It's going to be held on with CM screws. It's going to take two of them. So one here. And then just one down the bottom here. Now on top of that section now, we're going to mount the distributor block. That's going to line up with the lugs that we've got here. So that's just going to sit on like that. And once again that's going to be held on with cm screws so here's the first one i'll just put that in lightly put the second one in and then tighten these all up now we're going to start connecting the wires so i'm going to get all the wires out now just a little tip for you if you want to bend the wires round so you can actually trowel them, you can actually put some 5 amp fuse wire down there and that will enable you to bend these where you like. Uh, I'm just going to put these in where they go for the minute. So I'm just going to sort them out into what size is what. And I have put them into ascending order over here because they are all completely different sizes. So the smallest wire is where we're going to start. That's just going to go into this side here, over the top, and in the distributor, it's going to go onto this bottom plug here now the next one up the six centimeter one is going to go next to it and that one's just going to go to the one we're actually going to rotate around clockwise here so i'll just put that one in as well the next one the seven centimeter one is going to go into the pin again just working our way around clockwise now i'm just doing what it tells me to do in the instructions if this is the wrong order on the distributor cap do not blame me because <laughs> i know sometimes they can be a little bit blase about what order they go in the firing order i would have expected to be honest with you if the distributor's spinning around like that that it will go on both sides it won't do all one in one go so i do think that might be wrong but there you go and then the last one I believe is the eight centimeter one it's going to go on the end here and on the next one along now using tweezers on this it's going to make things a lot easier for you and there you go that's all four on that side in now we want to take the longest wire here and that's going to be going on this one on this side here and then that is going to go all the way around to the next pin along there we go then once again we work our way down this time it's a 14 centimeter lead following the same way again in clockwise order then the next longest and then finally the last lead and then that will mean all the leads are in the distributor cap except for the one that goes down the center. 
Now that firing order is completely wrong. You're not going to have an engine firing on one side cylinders and then the other. So I have put a little diagram on the screen of V8 uh, Dodge engine. And uh, that's what I'm going to follow. So I will do that after I finish the last two stages here and show you what that looks like. So in stage 17, we're going to be doing all the pulleys, fans and belts. So that's pretty much what we're going to be doing on this end of the vehicle. So by the end of it, should look just like that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start building the alternator. And this is the first section that we're going to need of that with the small hole here. And we're going to be putting a mounting bracket to it. This is what the mounting bracket looks like. We have got a locating lug in there. It's going to help us to attach that. It's going to go on like that, but it's going to be held in place just here with an AP screw. Make that nice and tight. Then we've got the top piece here that's going to go over the top of this section here. Bring over the engine here, and this is just going to be mounted onto this section just there. You can see the hole that that's going to go in there. Now that's going to be held in with a CM screw. So I've put that in there. I'm just going to tighten the screw up. So that's fully in place. Excellent. Now we've got another bracket to put in here. So that's going to go in kind of like, let's get this last one lined up there, kind of like that. And that's going to be held in on this side here first with an AP screw. I'll put one of them in just to hold that in place. And then you will notice just down the bottom of that section, there is another hole to put a screw in. Just in there like that, make sure that's tight. And then we've got two little wheels here that's going to make another pulley. So I'll get these parts together. Put them where they go, so the flat one's going to go this side of the pulley to make it a complete pulley. We're going to put an AP screw down the ends there, and that's just going to go on the end of the alternator here. So I'm trying to do all this in one go, which uh, I'll be shocked if this happens. There we go, that's screwed in, and now I'm just going to make that nice and tight. So now we have a pulley just on the end here. We've got four other parts here now, which we're going to be using to make a pulley with. So this one's going to be the end. This one's going to be the front. So then all the others are going to go down this way round. So it looks just like that there. We're going to be attaching this to the front of the vehicle here with a CM screw. So... I'm going to probably best on the top camera lay all of these out where they go on here try and load a screw up see if I can get this all the way down the top there we go that's all those bottom pulleys in place as well they are able to turn so the biggest belts that we got here we've got two sizes here look a small one and a big one the big one is going to go round the pulley of the alternator there. Probably better this way actually. Round the inside ring of that one there. And then this one is just going to go on the other side of the pulley here. Make sure it's flat and there's no twists in it. But that's the first lead on. And the next one's going to go into the second lead here. Into the second one down the bottom here. Perfect. So now that's two belts on. And then we've got the really large belt here, which is going to go towards supercharger and the belt underneath like that. So that is all the belts in place. We can put that to one side just while we get the fan. So we're just going to put some more blades on the fan here. And these are just going to be pushed, these fins here, into the spare holes that we've got along the side. They're all the same way but they have got a uh, little semicircular pattern that's going to help you push these in. So that's one. Do this one here. So they should all be in flat, looking like that. This is just going to go 
over the top this way round, so it's outwards, facing outwards, on here like that. It's going to be held in with an AP screw. Put that screw in and then tighten that all the way up. There you go. That's the fan on. And then the last thing we've got, we've got this little bit of piping here, which is the alternator wire. That's just going to plug into the back of the alternator. We have got a little pin for that to go in here, just like that. That's held in place. And that's all there is to do in that stage. Quite impactful, isn't it, what we've done so far? Still need to change the firing order of that distributor, but I will do that. And in stage 18, as you can see here, we're going to be assembling the engine block part 6. Looks like we're starting to work on some of the exhaust system here. So, a few bits there. Going to connect that to the engine. So at the end of it, we've got this lovely, impressive manifold and exhaust parts here. So, these are all the exhaust parts. I'm just going to tip all of those out. Now, I'm just going to lay these out in order of how big they actually are. I think this is the biggest one at the end here. And we need that because we're going to be mounting those to this section just here. So the pin that we've got here needs to be facing up just like that. And the first one, which is the smallest one, is just going to go into the end here. And that's going to be held in with an AP screw. You don't want to tighten that up all the way, just enough to get that started, which it is. We're going to leave them loose for the minute until we actually put all the rest of these in. So the next biggest one is this one. That's going to go into the next one along. And by that I mean this hole just here. <laughs> this is taking forever. So what I've done is I've employed my helping hands <laughs> to help me out. Because this is really, really fiddly. So what I'll do is I'll offer this up to this. And then screw it in. Hopefully this will work. Looks good. Yes. So we've got that one in. <laughs> if you can think of an easier way, please let me know. They're all still really loose in here, just while I get the last one in. Again, I'll use my helping hands just to hold it for me while I put this last one in. Make short work of it, you see. <laughs> right, let's put these in how they're supposed to look. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to keep them loose for a minute, I think. So now we're just going to attach this point to the end of the manifold. This is going to go over the top like that. It's going to be held in with an AP screw just from the other side here. Put that in there. And make sure that's nice and tight. And then all of these are going to go into the block at the end here. So if you follow the picture, it's going to be pretty easy to see where they go. That's number one. Number two will be going below it. Make sure that's in nice and tight. Then number three. That's going to go into the bottom corner again. It's pretty hard to show you this, so it's probably best to uh, just look at the pictures. Number four. And then just make sure these are all pushed into place. So that should now look just like that. We're going to put this on the engine and basically it's going to be fitting underneath this side here so that this middle bracket will be on this side and it's going to be held into place with CM screws. These chrome parts are very very slippy so they are quite hard to get a grip hold of. There we go that's going in. Make that nice and tight and then in the remaining two holes we just put the last of the CM screws in. So one there. One here. And then the last one. Just on this side. And that's the first exhaust manifold in place. And that's all there is to do in this stage. That means that's all there is to do in this pack. Now I will get round to doing that uh, distributor cap, that's still bothering me, but it does might mean I have to muck around with some of those leads to actually put them in the right place. But uh, the engine 
is looking pretty impressive look at that there and obviously when we have this awesome supercharger on top which uh, I'm just gonna sort of like put on roughly where it goes there As you can see it looks pretty good doesn't it so <laughs> anyway I'm enjoying this <laughs> I haven't got any more Fast and Furious I'm waiting for another delivery so when that comes we'll get that up on the channel but I really do hope you like that video if you did please remember to give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already please remember to subscribe other than that take care